Uh, so for this promise is to set for peace this amount with the payment at the end of the year. Each of the first 20 payments is 1200 Each of the last 10 interest on the loan is at an annual effective rate of bond, and the interest portion of the loan pay payment is twice the interest portion of the 21st payment. Calculate the interest portion of the 21st payment. Okay, so now again, we need to find the interest portion of these um, um, payments, right? Well, uh, I think what I just wrote in my last video, I wrote down all these different loan amortization equations, but I'm going to only now type out the one that we actually need, right? So how do we find an interest payment at a given time? We uh, take the balance, outstanding balance at the time prior of the interest at a certain time that we want to find it at, multiplied by the interest rate, right? So now it says that, so 30 year loan, so it says that each of the first 20 payments is. 1200 into the last 10 payments is 900. Okay, so interest on the loan is at an annual I and the interest portion of the loan is. So let's find the interest portion of the loan payment, right? So the interest portion at the loan payment. So now we know that the interest rate is I. We want to find what the balance is. Um, outstanding balance of the interest payment, right? So the equation goes that we need to find the balance prior. So we need to find the, balance, the outstanding balance occurring at time 10, right? So now think about it as this, right? So outstanding balance of time 10 would occur here. So that means that throughout this time period, this part, uh, this time interval represents the uh, $1,200 that have been paid out um, every year and that there's still more left to pay out. So in order to find the outstanding balance, one way to do this is we could take the, um, well, from time 10 to 30, there's 20 years that have are that are between this interval. So we could do 900 present value of 20 I, right? And we can, and since um, we're applying 900 to this whole time interval, and we notice that 1200 is within this region, we're going to compensate that by adding 300 because 900 plus 300, 1200. We're going to compensate for that by adding 300 for the 10 years that is left. And why are we doing it this way? Because we don't want to, um, we don't want to just simply do 900 uh, present value of, of only 10 years and then do a V to the 10 years for an extra because we don't want to deal with the V, you know? So we're going to use this method instead, right? And now we're going to take this outstanding balance occurring at time 10 and we're going to multiply it by the interest rate because this that's what is that's what the equation is dealing with, right? Now we're going to solve. So I'm going to expand this. I'm going to do 900 times one minus V to 20 over I uh, plus 300 times one minus V to the 10 over I, right? And this whole thing is times I, right? So I'm just gonna get rid of all the I's, right? And I'm going to distribute, right? I'm going to do 900 minus 900 V to the 20 
plus 300 minus 300 we get a 10 and I'm gonna do combine into 1200 minus 900 that be to the 10. Oh, this is B to the 20. And minus 300 B to the 10, right? So this is, been, this is known to be the outstanding, this is known to be the interest paid at time 11, right? Now they're seeing that this interest portion of the 11th payment will be twice the interest portion of the 21st payment. So let's find the interest paid on the 21st payment. So let me take my eraser. Interest at twenty one. Now uh, at twenty one. So again, that means that we would have to go back. So we're gonna have to find the outstanding balance of the at the year prior. So at twenty, right? So throughout, we see here that we only have nine hundred with the that interval. Discount it. 10 years for the outstanding balance, then we take this and we multiply it by i, right? Now we're gonna do not expand it, 900 times one minus b to the 10. Uh, it's over i, we're gonna get rid of the i, so it's just gonna be this amount. And I'm gonna do 900 minus 900 b to the 10. Now, now it says that the interest, so we found the interest portion here. Now we're saying the interest portion of is twice the interest portion of this, right? So now we're going to do, we're going to set this equation equal to twice this amount, right? So this is going to become 1800 minus 1800. Now, I can take my eraser. And I'm gonna do minus 200 minus 700. This is gonna be 600, right? Then I'm gonna do negative 1800 plus 300. We get negative 5, 1500 uh, v to the 10. Now, I'm going to move this to the other side. And we're going to get a quadratic equation, right? Which means that we're going to set the traditional, we're going to do root to 10 equals x. Right? And then we're going to rewrite this whole equation. So let me do. Root to 10 equals Now I'm gonna solve this whole thing, right? So I'm gonna do um, the quadratic equation. So negative uh, negative fifteen hundred plus or minus. Negative fifteen hundred. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing this with my fingers, so I'm gonna take a pause. So if it's negative fifteen hundred squared minus four AC nine hundred 
600, right? Whole thing over to A. Right? Now let's solve. So I'm going to take, I'm going to solve this part first. I'm going to do negative 1500 squared minus 4, 900 times uh, 600, right? Get 90,000. So radical 90,000 is going to be 300. So I'm going to get 1,500 plus or minus 300 over 1,800. Now let's see how this turns out. So what I were to do, Fifteen hundred plus uh, three hundred, and then divided by eighteen hundred, I would get one as one possibility. Another one, if I did fifteen hundred minus three hundred divided by eighteen hundred, I would get point six six as a possibility. But this problem says that I must be greater than zero, so this one's out. So now we're going to set B to the 10 equal 1, and we're going to find the interest rate, right? So we're going to do uh, 1 over 1 plus I to the 10 equals 1. If I were to cross multiply, this would just simply be uh, 1 equals 1 plus I to the 10. Um, then I can move this to the other side, so this is just, yeah, so 1 to 10, right? And then uh, for B to the, yeah, wait, so 1,500 plus 3, yeah, 1,800, so 1. Uh, point six. Wait, no. Uh, two divided by three. Oh, wait, no. They're saying that the annual effective interest rate must be greater than zero. So point six six is an out. It's the annual effective interest rate that we're going to find afterwards. So now, because I noticed that when I plug in one and when I try to find uh, ten. But if I try to find I from here, then we find out that I equals zero from here. So that's a no-no. So now we're gonna use 0.66, right? So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cross multiply based upon uh, 0.66, and I'm gonna get one equals to uh, uh, I'm gonna do um one over um, one plus i to the 10 equals to 0.66. So I'm gonna move this side I'm gonna do one divided by 0.66, which is 1.515515. Then I'm gonna set it equal to this. Then I'm gonna find i to the one divided by 10. And then minus one, And I'm going to end up getting 0 0.04242 as I, right? So I'm going to right here. Right. I'm going to take my eraser. I'm going to erase this. Now, once I find the interest rate, they're asking me to calculate the interest portion of the 21st payment. So what was the equation that we made for the 21st payment? That the outstanding balance prior at time 20, so 900, that was the outstanding balance prior at time 20. Now we could evaluate it at 4.24. Um, yeah, uh, times uh, this again, interest rate point, yeah, times this, right? 
right? Because that's the equation that we're working with here, right? So now I'm going to take my TBM. And do 900 payment, 10 number of years, 4.24268 times 2 and interest rate. Zero and which value is going to be the current value. It's going to be 7,212.41 times 0 0.04242682. And I'm going to find that my answer is going to be 306, which is going to be closest to the answer 300. Um, but I think another way of solving this is to realize that back to our previous equation, we did, we actually expanded it, right? We did 1 minus v to the 10 over i times i got rid of the i's got this right and um once we did that we we could just uh, take this evaluate it at b to the 10. so i could do that instead i could do uh 1.04242692 to the negative 10. now minus one times 900 and I'd still get 306 from this method. But then again, yes, the answer is closest to 300. So C is the answer. There's definitely not, not, no, not enough information because we haven't everything to handle.